Hi everyone, Ben Clymer and Audra Martin here with you on another edition of Wild Breakaway following yet another win for the Wild on home ice. It's now 10 straight wins and this one a 3-2 victory over the Anaheim Ducks. It wasn't pretty towards the end. They kind of had to fend off the pressure there from Anaheim, but they got the job done. 10 straight. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, Lou called it ugly. <laughs> um, it certainly wasn't pretty and I agree with Lou's assessment and, and I would only say it was a bend not break game for this team and most important they started out with a goalkeeper named Cam Talbot, but they ended with a momentum keeper because that's exactly what he did in the late stages of this game. He was the difference. He was the reason they're going to be able to walk out of this arena with two points in their pocket. And again, they're going to play a team coming up here in St. Louis at the end of a road trip. They could kind of kick a team when they're down. Well, offensively, it was Jared Spurgeon leading the way with two goals on the season and then Nico Sturm getting his first game-winning goal to top it off. A 3-2 win. Nice job on special teams as well as the Wild now have power play goals in back-to-back -back games and killing off the lone power play opportunity for the Anaheim Ducks. But again, two goals from the captain, Jared Spurgeon. Here's what the head coach had to say about his decision to get in on the offensive action. You know what? We give our, our defensemen free reign to go, um, to get in there, get involved. Um, doesn't matter who they are. Um, stay in the play. Yeah, they can hunt some pucks if they want. Uh, it's the responsibility of everybody to back each other up. And uh, we've talked about it a lot, about creating offense from the back end. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if he's in there, then, uh, then uh, stay in there and, and try to score a goal. And fortunately, he did a couple. It's hard to believe, but the Wild and the Blues are now about to face off for the first time since February 23rd of last year. Action begins at 6.30 for Wild Live, coming to you from inside the XL Energy Center as these two former Central Division foes are reunited. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. For Ben Clymer, I'm Audra Martin. We'll see you next time on Wild Breakaway.